हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन करंट अफेयर्स इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स एस एन अकेडमी में प्रोवाइड यू द बेस्ट मटेरियल फॉर नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल न्यूज सो कीप वॉचिंग एंड स्टडी हार्ड फोर्थ नवंबर 2020 द फर्स्ट न्यूज इज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया शरद अरविंद बोर्डे and justice dy chandrachur of the supreme court jointly inaugurated india's first ever e resource center and the virtual court called nyay kaushal at judicial officers training institute in kerala the nyay kaushal will facilitate electronic filing of cases in the supreme court any high court as well as district courts across the country to enable speedy ju- justice for litigants by utilizing technology the virtual court will be working from katol in nagpur district of maharashtra next ganga utsav 2020 has been organized by the national mission for clean ganga nmcg jointly with the ministry of jal shakti the 3 day long ganga utsav 2020 has been organized from 2nd to 4th november 2020 virtually amidst covid-19 precaution the annual event is organized to spread awareness about river ganga and the need to keep the river clean and rejuvenated important case minister of jal shakti is gajendra singh shikhavat next portugal mp duarte pacheco has won the elections for the post the president of the inter parliamentary union The term of the Duarte Pacheco will be from from 2020 to 2023. He will be the 30th president of the IPU and will succeed Mexican MP Gabriela Cuevas Baron who completed the tenure in October 2020. Next, the Chief Minister of Assam Sarbanand Sonowal has laid the foundation stone of Indo-Israeli Center of Excellence. for vegetables protected cultivation at Khetri on the outskirts of Assam the indo israeli center of excellence for vegetables protected cultivation is estimated to be set up at an investment of rupees 10.33 crore important case chief minister of assam is sarvanand sonal governor is professor jagdish mukhi and folk dances of assam is bihu dance and portal dance and jhumur dance next the navies of india the us japan and australia began the four day long phase first of the malabar na- naval exercise in the bay of bengal from the indian side destroyer ranvijay frigate shivalik offshore patrol vessel sukanya fleet support ship shakti and submarine sindhu raj will be part of the drill next as a part of mission sagar 2 the indian naval ship airavat has reached sudan with 100 tons of food aid under mission sagar 2 ins airavat will deliver food aid to sudan south sudan djibouti and eritrea amid the covid-19 pandemic The government of India has launched this initiative to provide assistance to friendly foreign countries to overcome natural calamities and COVID-19 pandemic. Next, the Competition Commission of India (CCI) has approved the acquisition of general insurance business of Bharti Agza General Insurance Company Limited. Bharti Agza. by ICICI Lombard General Insurance Company Limited under section 311 of the Completion Act 2002 the whole general insurance business of Bharti Agza will be transferred to ICICI Lombard by way of demagar considering that ICICI Lombard will issue shares to Bharti Agza important case Bharti Agza Co Limited headquarter it is in Mumbai Maharashtra MD and CEO is Sanjeev Srinivasan and it is established on 2008 tagline is suraksha ka naya nazariya next 
the indian institute of science and the research and development center of indian oil corporation limited iocl have signed an memorandum of understanding to develop and demonstrate biomass gasification based hydrogen generation technology this technology will be used for producing fuel cell grade hydrogen at an affordable price the iisc and indian oil will work jointly on the optimization of both biomass gasification and hydrogen purification process next west indies batsman malon samuels has announced his retirement from professional cricket the 39 year old had informed cricket west indies about his retirement in june this year having last played for his country in december 2018 against bangladesh next noted violin maestro and padma awardee t n krishnan passed away his full name was triponithriya narayanaran krishnan he was born on 6th october 1928 in triponithuva kerala and later around 1942 he settled in chennai He was conferred with many prestigious awards such as such as the Padma Shri, the Padma Bhushan, and the Sangeet Natak Academy Award, among others. Next, former Chief Minister and Socialist of Bihar, Satish Prasad Singh, passed away. He was born on 1st January 1936 in Korchaka village, Khagaria district, Bihar. Satish Prasad Singh, the leader of Soshit Sam. Samaj Dal became the sixth and the shortest served CM of Bihar for five days, with the support of Indian National Congress. Next, noted actor, filmmaker, and voice-over artist Ashish Kakkar has passed away. He was one of the most prominent artists from the Gujarati film industry. As a filmmaker, Ashish was known for his Gujarati projects, namely Better Half and Mission Mummy. Next, Indian origin New Zealand politician Priyanka Radha Krishnan has created history by becoming the first Indian Kiwi woman to become a minister in New Zealand. Radha Krishnan was born in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. The 41-year-old was one of five new minister inducted into the cabinet. She was appointed as Minister for the Community and Voluntary Sector, Minister for Diversity, Inclusion and Ethnic Communities. Minister for Youth and Associate Minister for Social Development and Employment in Prime Minister Jakinda Ardern's cabinet. Important keys: Prime Minister of New Zealand is Jakinda Ardern. Capital of New Zealand is Wellington, and currency of New Zealand is New Zealand dollar. Fifth November, twenty twenty. The first news is the Chief of Army Staff General. M M Naravane was conferred the honorary rank of General of the Nepali Army by President Vidya Devi Bhandari. He was honored at a special ceremony at the President's official residence, Sheetal Nivas in Kathmandu, Nepal. The ceremony was attended by the Prime Minister of Nepal K P Sharma Oli, Indian Ambassador Vinay M Quatra, and other senior officials of both the countries. Important keys. Prime Minister of Nepal is K P Sharma Oli. President is Vidya Devi Bhandari. Capital of Nepal is Kathmandu, and currency is Nepalese rupee. Next, Union Minister of State for Tourism and Culture, Pralad Singh Patel, virtually inaugurated the Tourist Facilitation Centre facility at Guru Vayur in Kerala. The facility has been constructed under the project development of. Guru Vayur Kerala under Prashad scheme of the Ministry of Tourism at the cost of rupees 11.57 crores the national mission on pilgrimage rejuvenation and spiritual heritage augmentation drive that is called prashad were launched by the ministry of tourism in the year 2014 and 15 next bangladesh and us navies launched the cooperation float reading readiness and training carrot that is called carrot bangladesh 2020 to expand relationships and broaden maritime awareness between the two countries carrot stands for 
cooperation of float readiness and training the exercise demonstrate the uss continuing commitment to work with the bangladesh military to address shared maritime security concerns in the region and strengthen partnership to ensure a free and open indo pacific region next the incumbent president of ivory coast alasane quatro has won a third five year term in a landslide victory gaining more than 94% of the votes polled the 78 year old mr quatera was first sworn in as the president in 2010 and then re-elected in 2015 apart from this he has also served as the prime minister of cote de lavoria from november 1990 to december 1993 next the asian development bank adb has approved usd 132.8 million loan to meghalaya to improve and upgrade the power distribution network in the state the fund will help in improving the distribution system and financial sustainability of the meghalaya power distribution corporation limited important keys meghalaya chief minister is conrad sangma Meghalaya governor is Satyapal Malik and Meghalaya capital is Shillong. Next. The enhanced version of Pinaka rocket system was successfully flight tested by Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO from integrated test range Chandipur of the coast of Orissa. This enhanced version of the Pinaka rocket would replace the existing Pinaka MK1 rockets. While MK1 had a range of 40 km, the new variant can hit a target of 45 to 60 km away. Next, A K Gupta, the new managing director and CEO of ONGC Videsh Limited, took charge. Before this, he was director of the operation company. Gupta was also the head of new business in marketing in ONGC and head business development in ONGC Videsh both for the domestic and international markets. He has handled commercial negotiations with alliance partners, regulators, customers and national oil companies. Next. A new book titled Till We Win by AIMS director Randeep Guleria and two other doctors will give a definitive account of india's fight against covid-19 and how to deal with the pandemic in the days to come the book has been co-written by leading public policy and health system expert expert chandrakant lehria and renowned vaccine researcher and virologist gagandeep kang next world tsunami awareness day was observed across the world on 5th november The day is celebrated to spread awareness among people across the world in matters related to the dangers of tsunami. In 2020, World Tsunami Awareness Day encourages the development of national and community level local disaster risk reduction strategies to some save more lives against disasters. This year's observance promotes Sendai 7 campaign target. next veteran kanara theater and film actor h g soma shekhar rao passed away he had appeared in more than 60 movies during his career spanning about 5 decades he made his big screen debut with 1975 kanara film gija gana goru about from this h g soma shekhar rao was also a published author he has written 25 books including an autobiography next bollywood actor faraz khan passed away he had acted in several popular bollywood films in the late 1990s and early 2000s sixth number 2020 the first news is the ministry of information and broadcasting has constituted a four member committee to assess the existing television rating points trp of tv channels The committee will be chaired by Prasar Bharti CEO Sashi S Vempati. Important keys: Chairman of Broadcast Audience Research Council of India is Puneet Goenka. 
Broadcast Audience Research Council founded on 2010 and its headquarters in Mumbai. Next, the United States has officially withdrawn from the Paris Climate Accord on 4th November 2020. With this, the US has now become the only country to formally pull out of the deal since it was adopted in 2015. Important keys, UNF CCC Executive Secretary is Patricia Espinosa. UNFCC Headquarter is Bonn, Germany. Next, the President of Tanzania, John Pombi Magufuli, has been sworn for a second five year term. He took the oath of the office on 5th November 2020. Magafuli won 84% of the total votes in election held on October 28th. Important keys, Tanzania capital is Dodoma and currency is Tanzanian ceiling. Next, in Uttarakhand, Dehradun Municipal Corporation DMC has launched an initiative named Plastic Lao Mask Lejao to fight against the menace of plastic waste and contain the spread of COVID-19. It has distributed 5,000 face masks in exchange for plastic waste. Important keys, Governor of Uttarakhand is Baby Rani Maurya, Capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun for winter and Gair Sen for summer. Chief Minister of Uttarakhand is Trivendra Singh Rawat. Next. India receives the second batch of three Rafale aircraft bringing total Rafale jets with IAF to 8. The second batch of three Rafale jets landed in Jamnagar, Gujarat on 4th November 2020 after flying non-stop from France. Next. Private lender ICICI Bank has launched a comprehensive banking program for its millennial customer in the age bracket of 18 years to 35 year called ICICI Bank Mine. The ICICI Bank Mine is India's first and unique product launched by the bank to offer a mobile first highly personalized and experimental lead banking experience to the millennial customers. Important keys. ICICI Bank Headquarter, it is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Sandeep Bakshi and tagline is Hum Haina Khayal Aapka. Next. The National Payments Corporation of India, NPCI, has finally allowed Facebook-owned messaging platform WhatsApp to roll out its payment service in the country in a graded manner. The announcement by NPCI came after the organization made a crucial change to its regulations concerning the use of the Unified Payments Interface, that is UPI. Important keys, National Payments Corporation of India, MD and CEO is Dilip Azbe, its headquarter in Mumbai and founded on 2008. Next. National Dairy Development Board NDDB Chairman Dilip Rath has been unanimously elected to the Board of Global Dairy Body International Dairy Federation IDF. He has been associated with IDF for the last 10 years as Member Secretary of Indian National Committee and as a member of the Standing Committee on Dairy Policy and Economics. Important keys. International Dairy Federation established on 1903. International Dairy Federation president is Pierre Cristiano, Brazil, and its headquarter in Brussels, Belgium. Next, noted filmmaker Hari Haran has been selected for the JC Daniel Award, the state government's highest honor for lifetime contribution to Malayalam cinema. Next. The 40th meeting of the Sacrifices Sark Finance Governor's Group was held virtually under the chairmanship of Sri Shakti Kant Das, Governor of RBI. The meeting was attended by the Governor from Sark Central Banks. 
During the meeting, Mr. Das also inaugurated the Sark Finance Sync, a closed user group secure communication network. Important keys. Sark Finance established on 9th September 1998. Sark Finance current chairman is RBI and central bank in Sark Finance is Bangladesh Bank, Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Afghanistan Bank, Maldives Monetary Authority, Nepal Rashtriya Bank, Reserve Bank of India, Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan and State Bank of Pakistan. Next. The International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of the Environment in War and Armed Conflict is an international day observed annually on November 6th. On 5th November 2001, the UN General Assembly declared 6th November of each year as the International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of the Environment in War and Armed Conflict. Next. The iconic Indian superhero Chacha Chaudhary, whose brain works faster than a computer, has now come forward to join hands with the Namami Gange program. Namami Gange program is on Diamond Tunes will capitalize and publish this new taking comics with Chacha Chaudhary spreading awareness on the cultural and spiritual significance of River Ganga and deploy best available knowledge across the masses for Ganga rejuvenation. The teaser was released during Ganga Utsav 2020. Next. Fast Moving Electrical Goods, FMEG company, Siska Group, has roped in actor Rajkumar Rao as the new face of the brand. Rao will work closely with the company to promote the Siska products across lead and fan segments. Thank you. Keep watching.